I always tell people don't write for free. Don't write for exposure. Someone said, and I love this, they said, people die of exposure. Don't write for exposure. When I was starting off, I would write a little bit for free for like my sister's website or my mom's website, but they were the only people that I wrote for free for. And then everyone who hired me as a freelancer said to me, oh, I saw your blog. So the blog becomes this calling card of like, okay, I can actually write. So building up your resume, charging what you're worth, which is such a hard question, because what are you worth at any given point in your career? What is your work worth? But I think most writers do undercharge. And I think when you hit the point that you're confident enough to charge more for your writing, then you can actually start to put together a living. Because if you're if you're making a dollar an hour, there's no amount of work you can do that will pay your bills. You have to charge what you're worth. That's always tricky.